Hi class, today we will go talk about MATLAB also, the signals processing by using MATLAB. Now we will talk about discrete Fourier series. Okay, so I will give one example here. Okay, this is the example. Okay, how to draw a Fourier discrete Fourier series in a MATLAB? So the question is, please find the BFS coefficients of the periodic sequence as n with a period of n equals to 5. Okay, plot the magnitude and the phase of the xk within one period of xn has the form of okay, this. This is our signal, so we know that our xn is 1, 0, 1, 2 when it's 1, and 0, 0 is 3 and 4. Okay, so we are plotting n equals to 5. So we have 5 graph, uh, uh, 5 line of our graph. Okay, first thing is, how you want to change xn to become xk? So the solution is, we must, using the xk formula, summation from n 0 until m minus 1. So this is our big n is 5, minus 1 is 4. Okay, xn, so we print our xn inside. Omega, this one is the W, W minus WKN, N. So, we using our W, so it's 5 and 0, okay, for the first one. So, we repeat 1 and 2. So, we know that 3 and 4 is 0, so we don't need to consider because 0, 0, multiply 0 is nothing. Okay, so for the 1, we know that with exponential is 0, we get 1. So this is exponential minus 2j 5k. So we don't know the k value divided by 5. Okay, plus with the second one exponential minus j. So this one is 2, right? Our n number is 2. So 2 times 2 is 4. And 4, 5k divided by 5. Okay, so when we get these uh, functions, we, we factor out our exponential. So now we factor out our exponential. So exponential minus 2j 2 pi k divided by 5. And okay, the first one you have to, when you factor out, which means you have to multiply it. Lah. So so that you can factor out. Okay. Okay. So then after that is 1. Okay. Mm -hmm. When you factor out the same value, so this one will become 1. No? Okay, so this one, because you have 4, ma, so it is 2 times. So you will have 2 times 2, ma, 4. So 2 pi k divided by 5. Okay, after you get these equations, okay. So now what we can find out is, the okay, 1 is remain 1. Okay, here. So you will have 1 is remain as 1. 1 is remain as 1. Then you will have, your exponential and exponential, one is plus and one is minus. So we have minus. So when plus and minus together, we have, we'll have 2 cos bracket 2 pi k over 5. So we have this formula. So you're using your trigonometry formula. Okay. Clear? Then after that, next step is, now we have this equation, so we know that this equation, when we want to find our magnitude, we won't consider the j. So j is imaginary part. So if for real part, it's a just the, uh, how to say, uh, just, to, just the modulus. So we have modulus 1 plus 2 cos 2 pi k divided by 5. So this one is our magnitude, magnitude. Okay, this one is our phase in anchor, in angle. Okay, equals to minus 2 pi k over 5. So our angle, our angle is bracket 1 plus 2 cos 2 pi k over 5. So now we have to draw these two signal, these two functions, we have to type these two functions inside our MATLAB. Okay, so we go back to our MATLAB. 
Okay, now we go back to our MATLAB. Okay, how to plot? First, we know that our n equals to 5 for this other questions. Okay, then, now we have to plot our x exists. Okay, x exists, or, or our n, we say as our n. x exists is our n. Okay, bracket. Okay, now we know our signal is 1, 1, 1, 0, 0. This is our n value. Okay, small n. Then we have our k is equal what? Equal to negative n. Negative n until our two time of our n. So which means until the n lah, n number. Okay. So first we will have our x magnitude x m equals to modulus so it's a absolute absolute modulus means modulus absolute bracket one plus so just now we know okay we, we, we can show you this okay mm -hmm. okay we have to put that this formula inside okay and here so Okay, so this two, can you see? So one plus two cos, okay, bracket. So two have to dot multiply. So dot multiply. So which means multiply lah. Multiply the functions. Yeah, the matrix two multiply five. Okay, then you dot. K because this K and uh is a metric form because you have more than one number so you have to dot multiply okay. dot multiply your K so divide by your n number so now your n number is five right so you know here is five n number is five okay in brackets so this one is the bracket for the cost and also the bracket for the absolute so any column okay let so this uh, we, we know that this one is our period for three period because we want to repeat three times okay okay this one is what this one is our magnitude so this one we say we want to plot a magnitude this line means magnitude now this line we want to plot our anchor anchor which means it's our face so we have x, a, angle. Okay. So now we're using angle. So face is in angle form. Angle. Bracket. Okay. We have the exponentials. So exponentials. Okay. For negative 2. Okay. Pi multiply. So uh, multiply j. And we have to multiply our pi okay so dot multiply our pi divide by a uh, okay so our our k divided by five okay this one this one actually is the exponential like this is exponential here okay this actually is uh, what happened Okay, it's this signal lah. Okay, minus 2 dot j pi dot k a k divided by 5. Okay, this whole thing in bracket. Then dot star. Okay, multiply with okay, okay now this you see this one in bracket. 1 plus 2 cos. So you have to multiply your cos dot multiply cos in bracket. 2 multiply your pi okay so now this line i'm this time i'm tapping it actually is this line okay the whole function the whole function the whole function here okay 2 pi k okay divide by your n number okay then bracket for the call bracket second time for the uh the the this bracket 
Okay. Okay. Then uh, last bracket is for the whole face bracket. Okay. Bracket. So this one is our face. Okay. So you done until here. Now you want to plot. Okay. How you want to plot? Okay. You, you have these two signal. Okay. So now you want to plot these two in a figure. So like just now, uh, previous we have figure. So figure one. Uh, previous one, for example, you figure one, x, uh, okay, uh, you, okay, maybe you want to label, right, x, you uh, want to label, x label, okay, x label is k, okay, now you want to have y label, okay, we, we want to plot the magnitude graph first, so y label is a magnitude graph, Okay, magnitude graph, which means is a XM, XM, bracket, okay, okay, then we plot this graph, we plot the XM, our X axis is K, okay, it's our K, X axis is our, our K, then y axis is our uh, xm okay so remember this graph you want to what you want to do is a subplot lah so we are putting a subplot here in two one one two graph Column 1, row 1. Okay. Then we repeat again. We want to subplot for the second graph. Okay, subplot. So now is column 2. Okay, row 1. Okay. So this one is K. X, uh, okay, now we are putting our A angle. So this one is our angle. Okay, then we can plot. We will do it. What happened? Okay. So this one is a graph lah. Okay. So uh, this one is a graph in a, a continuous form. So if you want to change to um, discrete form stream, and same SPM stem yeah captain stem so we run again we run, we run it again so you are getting this graph Yeah, I think two graph. Okay, so that's all. Okay, so for this uh, signal, if you want to okay label the title of the our figure, so we can put here uh, for the first graph and the second graph. The first graph we can put title K I T L E bracket. Okay, so you write our title is Magnitude Response. Magnitude Response. Okay, bracket, close. Then we also want to label for the another graph, the title for the face response. Okay, this one is our face response. Okay, so you can, you will do it again. Right click, you will do the descriptions. So uh, you are label the they are labeling the title. Okay.
So now you are labeling the title. Okay. So you can see we are labeling the title. Okay. Thank you, class.